eventually get to a point where there's just such hard packed clay, such hard packed um, just ground. And it really wasn't making much effort, very much impact anymore. So there's some sort of loose stuff down in here that I'm gonna try to just get out with a shovel and a bucket here and a wheelbarrow. Kind of just scrape this out. That was kind of churned up just from the skidster being down here. And then we'll figure out where we're at as far as height wise and uh, start laying out our foundation area. It's gonna be fun. So I have super exciting news. We have an egg, our very first egg from our chickens. So excited, big deal, super cool. All right, hey, um, I can't see me very well. Let's go around this way. There we go, we'll try this one. This might be a little bit better. So, whew, I've um, been having fun uh, working down here in the hole, working down here in the, the root cellar. I'm gonna try not to just call it the hole or the hole in the ground, whatever. Um, but I've got quite a bit dug out there is a decent amount, a lot left to do, as far as some digging goes, but I've got a good bit of it dug down a little bit lower, and I'll show you what I got going on. All right, so what I have is this whole circle. I already have all dug out, down lower. I dug all the way around. Um, over here to this is the lowest point currently. And so we're gonna level off of that. So I dug a trench that's going to run or it does run level um, with this low spot over here, kind of just to give myself a, a visual of what it's gonna, what it needs to go down. So I got quite a bit of digging um, to do on that backside, trying to break all that away, get all that dug out and out of here. A lot more dirt there than I, I thought there would be. Um, I might run into some trouble with the fact that I stopped using the wheelbarrow uh, to try to save time, and so I've already been chucking dirt. Um, up onto the sides. I may have to go ahead and start filling up some bags with, with this dirt. This is the dirt we want to use in the bags anyway. It's the clay with the sand. So we may have to go ahead and start filling up some bags to clear up some room um, and just maybe even just put this dirt directly into bags as I shovel it out. So that's probably the next step. We The bags did come in the mail yesterday. Um, so we've got that here and we are ready to go. Looking forward to it. Can't wait to show you guys more as we progress. Good morning, everyone. I hope you all have been having a blessed week so far. I know I have. Um, it is beautiful. It is perfect fall weather. And um, this is just like my favorite time of the year. I think a lot of people can say that. But it's a nice reprieve after the hot summer and it's not quite too cold yet to spend your time outside. So I'm just really enjoying the fall and our garden is pretty much done now. So that means that we are laying it to rest and we're able to focus on some other projects right now. Um, today I have like a ton of, I think it's about 10 maybe, five gallon buckets that um, I got for free from my brother from where he works and they had um, like oil in them like a, a cooking oil so they're really like greasy grimy but I'm gonna clean them out real good and I got them for free so I'm gonna use them for a bunch of different things probably but we'll use them for like food storage and then also we always need buckets around the farm for different projects so that's my morning before lunch project is to get that done. We did a little bit of school with the kids this morning. Um, we actually did it out on the dirt pile. I didn't like, I don't know about any of you other people who watch this who homeschool, but this time of year, like it's just hard to get into the groove of school because there's so much fun outside stuff still to do. So we're kind of just um, taking it a day at a time and some days we don't get to school and then some days we do it outside and we modify it a bit 
and the ages that my kids are right now, it's not really that big of a deal um, because they're all are still so young. And so we just do a lot of hands-on learning with them. That's what we did today. So we went out to the dirt pile and we wrote letters and words out in the dirt and did our geography and our Bible lesson and just some other stuff like that outside and that was fun. But now I have my job of cleaning out all these buckets. And then also yesterday, I went with my mom to an Amish community that's in the area and we had a wonderful day just getting to drive around in the country and meet some wonderful people. And I came home with two bushels of apples. So that was like 88 pounds of apples that now I get to can at least a lot of them. I won't can all of them. I'm going to can at least a bushel, do probably some applesauce jelly maybe do a few more apple like slices like I did last week but I'm waiting um, I need to get some more lids and then I can can that but I'm really excited I got a fantastic deal for like a whole bushel I was super excited last week I said on the video I got apples for 50 cents a pound well I got because I bought a whole bushel of them I got them for like less than 39 cents a pound so that'll be great and because it's cool also they will store well for a while without going bad but I was a little giddy about <laughs> the deal that I got so I'll be doing some canning once I get some more lids and um, Willis is working on the root cellar right now we just got our bags yesterday and so he's kind of getting it a little bit deeper and leveling it out and then once he gets that done then we'll go and start filling them up, all the bags up for our root cellar. But all right, let's get going. Okay, here are the apples that I bought from Amish community yesterday. We have a whole box of these Golden Delicious apples. And then the bottom box down there have Red Delicious. buckets was coconut oil and coconut oil solidifies at a certain temperature that I'm not going to be able to wash them out outside with the hose because it's cold water and it's not letting it release and um, clean very clean off very easily from the buckets um, last time I did this it was the middle of summer and all the coconut oil that was inside the buckets was just liquid already but because it's a little bit cooler now, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to take it inside and um, clean them out like in our bathtub area with some warmer water. So hopefully that will work much better. 